Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at I Love Lucy. Now, I'm really excited to get into the topic today because as I was watching, I started thinking about a few things. I started thinking about Ricky Ricardo, of course, played by Desi Arnaz, and I saw a specific scene and the scene is one of the moments that I have in this video itself. And I thought, wow, how heroic Ricky Ricardo was in this. And I started to think and said, hey, there are a lot of moments where Ricky Ricardo on the I Love Lucy show is pretty much heroic or stands up for Lucy or the whole gang in general. So I'm going to present to you five moments in which Ricky Ricardo is pretty much the hero. He's the superhero of the story here. And I think you will absolutely love these moments. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for being here and for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe. Let's get right to it, guys and gals. Let's begin our first moment in the first season of I Love Lucy. The episode is called The Gossip. Now, you may remember what happened here, and that's that Lucy is caught gossiping, and Ricky thinks that she's a serial gossiper, that she can never stop doing it. So it's the boys versus the girls, and they decide who can last the longest without gossiping. Of course, this whole convoluted story begins of tricking the other to gossip and so forth. But I think right at the end of the episode, we see the boys in bed because they apparently win the bet, and Lucy concocts an idea to trick the boys. So she contracts Bill Foster to come in, and he comes in with a gun. Fred immediately says, what's going on here? And Ricky responds with, what's going on here, Mr. Foster? And so this is a small moment, but one where he actually speaks up to a man with a gun. And I don't know, I think it's kind of a brave moment. It's not his most heroic moment, but I think it's a great way to start out. Now let's continue in season one, but move over to the episode, The Quiz Show. Now this is the one where we first see Frank Nelson and Lucy gets on this game show. In this game show, she has to pretend that this actor who comes to their house was her first husband. It's kind of a trick that she's playing on Ricky, and if she does that and does it successfully, she'll win some money. So they send an actor over, but unfortunately a hobo knocks on their door, and Lucy mistakes him for the actor. The hobo starts to steal everything around the whole apartment, and winds up getting close to leave when Ricky grabs him by the coat and starts to take all the soul and stuff out of his belongings, which is a really cool thing to see. Again, he was standing up to the guy and of course defending his wife in his home. Now we're getting to the good ones, guys and gals. These are some of my three favorite moments where Ricky is defending. And we're gonna go to the hour long I Love Lucy episode called Milton Burrow hides out at the Ricardos. Now this is a great one where we see Milton Burrow dressed as a woman. It's super hilarious. And Ricky finds out that someone's in his home. Of course, it's Milton Burrow. So Ricky goes into a rage thinking that Lucy's having an affair. Unfortunately, Milton Burrow's publisher comes. Ricky mistakes him for the cheater and punches him right in the face. Now, of course, that wasn't justified. And it's kind of funny to see Ricky do that. But I have to tell you, he was there defending his lady. And I don't know why, but every time I see Ricky punch that man, it's just super hilarious. Now, to me, this has to be one of the greatest moments of Ricky defending the situation and, of course, being the hero. This comes from season three of I Love Lucy. The episode is called Too Many Crooks. Now, it's the one with Madam X. She is a woman who is robbing lots of things in the apartment. No one can catch her. And, well, Lucy thinks that Ethel's Madame X, and Ethel thinks that it's Lucy. But it's neither of the girls, of course. It is a real thief. But while she comes into the Ricardo's apartment, Lucy's staking everything out. Ricky accidentally comes to the apartment and thinks that he caught Ethel, quote-unquote. But when he removes her face mask, he finds out it's Madame X. And so he pretty much tackles her and makes time for the police to get there. He's the one who steps in. It's kind of funny. Fred actually runs away with the bat but it's great to see ricky being the hero in this episode and finally guys and gals we get to my favorite moment and this comes from season five of i love lucy the great train robbery i featured this episode a few times in many videos but i absolutely love it it's great of course the gang is heading from hollywood back to new york and there's a jewel thief on board the train no one believes that Lucy really found him when Ricky confronts the jewel thief with a gun. And as Lucy pulls the emergency cord, the jewel thief becomes a little unbalanced and Ricky launches himself to him, knocks the guy to the ground, grabs the gun, and pretty much grabs his neck. He is the hero of the day and saves everyone on the train. 
It's an amazing moment to see guys and gals. I want you to tell me which one of these five was your favorites. And if you have another moment, let me know down in the comments below. I may feature it in a part two of this. So let me know what you think down below as always. I'm extending the giveaway another week, guys and gals, so go ahead and make sure and watch that last episode on The Jewel Thief, and they'll give you all the details on how you can win an I Love Lucy Christmas episode colorized DVD. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Don't forget to stay positive. Don't let any problems get you down. Just keep pushing forward, and most importantly, be hopeful.